Today class I would like to demonstrate how to set and remove different types of tabs inside Word 2007 or Word 2010. Alright, on uh, page 132 of your textbook, Lesson 36D5, it says to key the agenda below and to begin your title at about two inches. Well, the one way to begin your title at about two inches is to remember that your um, default margin is going to be for one inch. Do you see this blue area right here? And by the way, if you cannot see your rulers, this little button right over here will turn your rulers on and off. So you can turn them off and that right there is not going to do you any good, but if you'll click right back there, you can turn your rulers on. And you can see that I have the default margins of one inch set. Well, in order for me to get down to two inches, I'll just strike my enter key three times at that point. It's always a good idea to turn on your show hide markers, which is right here, so that you can see exactly what it is that you've done up to this point. Now you can see I'm pretty close right there to the one inch mark. And I want to key the two lines of the title, which would be By the way, if it has 201 dash right here or hyphen in place of this last digit, that is just something that's wanting you to replace that with the current year. And I'll press my enter. Now the instructions tell me to go ahead and key these lines in bold, change it to 14 point, and center a line. But I'm going to come back and do that in a few minutes. The reason that I'd like to do that later is because if I make those changes then, it's going to change it for the rest of the page, and I didn't want to do that at this point. So I've pressed my, or my Enter key one time, and then I'm ready to work with my tabs. Now, the instructions say to use your Tabs dialog box, but I do want to show you another way of doing that as well. First of all, your Tabs dialog box will be here in the Paragraph group on your Home ribbon. If you'll click right here, then you'll be able to go down to tabs at this point and have your tabs dialog box. And through this area, you'll be able to set specific tabs. The instructions say to set a tab at 0 0.5 and that that's supposed to be a left tab. Well, your default will always be left with no leaders. So if you're ready for that one, you can click set. The next one is going to be to set one at 5.25, and that particular one is going to be a right tab with the leaders, the number two leader, which is the dot. And then the third tab is going to be at 6.5, and it will be a right tab with no leaders and you can set that. So if you want to go back and double check, you can click here. You'll see that this is left with none. This one is right with the two liter, and this one is to the right with none. And so once I'm happy with all of those, I'm going to click OK. Once I've clicked OK, you'll be able to see these appear on your ruler bar. Do you see how this one is, it looks like a little L? which means that it's a left tab. It's going to be, if you were to type inside that, it's going this way. This is a right one. Do you see how the L is backwards? Which basically means a tab will, you will tab to this point and then it will line it up on the right hand side. So it'll actually be typing backwards. And this one is the same way. So my next line then says to key through the announcement line that contains the leader line. I'm just reading off of the instructions. So I'm going to begin to type at this point. I'm going to say welcome, press my tab key, there goes my leaders. Do you see how it lined up right there with that first one? Then I want to press my tab again to go to the next one where I will type Brad Tolleson. Press my enter key. This time I'll just go down and use my first tab, which is going to be the one at half an inch, where I'll type secretary's report. 
press my tab, press the tab again, and type Jennifer Douglas. Press the tab one more time to get to the far side. Okay, at this particular point in the instructions, it then asks you to go in and clear these tabs. So, there are several ways that you can clear tabs. One would be to go back to your paragraph box, go to your tabs. You can clear all of them with just a clear all button here. You can also clear your tabs a little bit easier than opening up this tab box just by taking the tab and dragging it down into the white space of your paper. There we go, and pull it down. And so that sometimes is a helpful way of doing things too. All right, so here I am, and I have removed all of the tabs. The instructions say to set a left tab a half an inch. In the manual way, if you'll take the pointer of your mouse, do you see where I am on the ruler bar at the top? When the pointer gets right there, I can click one time and it's going to give me a left tab, which is pretty handy. Also here on the left hand side, you can choose what kind of tab that you wanted it to set as well. So for example, I could click on this one. Do you see how it changes to the different types of tabs? I'm over here in this far left hand corner, but if I want it to be just a left tab, it's going to look like this. Then I go right over there and set the left tab. It also wanted me to set a tab at 2.5 inches, which is right there. So this is an alternative way of setting your tabs. You can set them this way or you can pull down to go to your tab dialog box and set them this way. This line that I'm typing looks like I'm tabbing to the, the 0.5. And this time I have just a left tab, so I'll just tab one time and I'll be ready to type Thursday, January the 22nd. Tab once, tab again, go back to the top of this document and highlight my title. My instruction said to change that to 14 point and to make it bold type and center align. I do apologize for a couple of things, class. Unfortunately, the computer that I have my Camtasia recording software on only has Word 2007. So this looks a little bit different here. And it also has a very sticky letter N. So if I keep missing the letter N, it's because it's just not typing well on this keyboard. One of the secrets that you can also do is that with the show hide markers on, you can see if you've got extra spaces at the end of lines or before you've pressed your inner keys, different things like that, because the space is going to look like a little dot. You see it there. A tab will look like this. A hard return where you've pressed your inner key will have the little backwards P that you see there. <clears throat> Look your document over and make sure that you don't have anything misspelled with a quick proofread. The reason that this is underlined in red is because my dictionary does not recognize this name. 